Podcast. Welcome to the Drupalize Me series on using the Drupal 7 token API. Tokens are simple strings of text that serve as placeholders for an as of yet unknown dynamic value. Think about all those emails you get from marketers who address you by name, or the email you get when you use Drupal's password reset tool that contains your username and a one-time login link. It's unlikely that those marketers are writing an email to every individual person on their mailing list, or that Drupal site administrators are handcrafting every password reset email. Instead, they're inserting placeholder tokens into the copy of the email, which the program that is sending the email will recognize as this string here that contains this special format using the specific syntax should be replaced with the name of the person who I'm sending the specific email to. This is just one of the many use cases for dynamic tokens. We use them here on Drupalize Me for all kinds of things. Our front page and various others throughout the site display the number of videos that we've published, rather than require that we go back to each one of those pages and update the number every week when new releases come out, I wrote a simple custom module that will count the number of videos and make that number available as a token that can be reused throughout the site. This is such a common task for modules that rather than have every module developer reinvent the wheel, Drupal's token API allows for this kind of placeholder replacement using a unified syntax and a set of hooks and functions which we'll cover throughout this series. This series is made up of six lessons. We'll start with the lesson that covers some basic token API related terminology and the special syntax used for placeholder tokens inside a string of static text. This will give us the background we need to be able to make sense of the various hooks and API functions in the token API and the role that each one plays. Then, we'll take a couple of minutes to set up a Drupal 7 installation and take a look at the Data Basics module that we'll be expanding to include support for dynamic tokens with an explanation of the problem we're addressing and the proposed solution we'll be implementing in this series. After that, there are two lessons that cover implementing token API related hooks. Specifically, we're going to take a look at hook token info and hook tokens the combination of which will allow us to announce our new tokens to Drupal and to provide dynamic values for those tokens. Then, we've got a lesson covering the token replace function, which will allow us to process strings of text that contain placeholder tokens and replace them with their dynamic values. Finally, we'll wrap up this series by taking a look at the relationship between the Drupal 7 core token API and the contributed token module, and how we as module developers can make use of some extra features from the contrib token module to make our own token API integration even better. After watching this series, you should have a firm grasp on the Drupal 7 token API and be able to use it in your own custom modules in order to provide your users with static placeholder tokens that can be replaced with a dynamically calculated value.